Welcome back to another episode of History Bodied. We focus on the most interesting questions and topics surrounding the world that we live in. Subscribe to the channel now and become part of the community so you never miss any of our latest uploads. In this video, we will be diving deep into the history and culture of South Africa. South African history has been saturated with racism. Yet, as the country develops, the discrimination is slowly diminishing and losing political traction. The land was originally home to a broad diversity of African tribes and peoples with varying languages and customs. With unemployment and poverty rampant in some communities, the economic position is now the dominant cause of separation. The colonization of South Africa took place in the 17th century onwards and introduced a sizable European population of Dutch, English, French and German settlers. However, the nation is adopting to overcome these divides, recognition of legal equality and fair distribution of resources is pushed to encourage unity. However, resentment of feelings and underlying post-colonial attitudes have been hard to shake. South Africa remains socially divided across racial lines in many ways. Australia has had close ties with South Africa since the earliest days of European settlement. The 1850s gold rush sparked the first significant migrations of British and European settlers from the southern regions of Africa to Australia. A small but steady flow of immigrants of European backgrounds from South Africa continued to flow in Australia in the following decades into the early 20th century. More significant numbers of the English-speaking white South African community moved to Australia during the 1960s when social discomfort increased surrounding migration policy in South Africa. South African migration to Australia has continued to be steady throughout the past two decades. As South Africa has one of the highest income inequality and unemployment rates, many South Africans migrate seeking better education, opportunity, and, primarily, a safer life. South Africans also generally find the Australian culture, language, and climate to be compatible with their own. In general, these cultural similarities afford many South African migrants relative ease acculturating to Australia. South Africa has been famously referred to as the Rainbow Nation because it is made up of so many diverse cultures and religions that were within South Africa's borders are Zulu, Kosa, Petty, Swana, Indibele, Poisson, Hindu, Muslim, and Afrikaner people to name but a few. All of these people are united by calling South Africa home, and therefore their lives all contribute to forming a part of the country's heritage, identity, and culture. Understanding that South Africa is composed of all these various influences is essential for helping South Africans understand and respect each other and learn from each other's cultural practices. Among the black population, there are four major ethnic groups, Ngani, Sutu, Shangan Songa, and Venda. There are also many subgroups of South African people, Zulu and Kosa are the largest. Some 60% of the white population is of Afrikaans descent, and most of the remaining 40% are of British ancestry. The middle class is predominantly white. However, this is changing with increasing numbers of black, colored, and Indian people entering the middle class. Their lifestyles are similar to those in Western Europe, North America, and Australasia, and they frequently travel or study abroad. There is also a tiny Chinese South African community that consists of early immigrants plus apartheid-era immigrants from Taiwan and post-apartheid immigrants from mainland China. As for religion, South Africa has never really had an official state religion. The country's constitution explicitly states everyone's right to freedom of conscience, religion, belief, and opinion. The 2011 South African census did not include a question of religious affiliation, the majority of South Africans identified as Christian in a 2013 general household survey. Some of the remaining population identified with ancestral or traditional African religions, some identified as Muslim, some as Hindu, and a minority identified as Jewish. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video, all about the history and culture of South Africa. Would you ever want to travel to South Africa? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, make sure to leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to History Bodied so you never miss out on taking a trip back in time with us to the most fascinating moments in human history. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.